the number nine vibration, uh, you are the superhero. You are Mars and Pluto. And your house is the first house to deal with self and deal with your appearance. And also, it's the sixth house to deal with your health. And you take responsibilities and your duties and to serve others and to deal with work. And they deal with the eighth house that deal with self-transformation, uh, your uh, sex and desires. And also deal with the ninth house that deal with the higher minds, learning and exploring. And also deal with the twelfth house, which is your psychic abilities, your subconscious and psychological issues. And so as I can't even bring this light, it's no rather than this, I shake. What does the number nine vibration say about you? It says that you have a combination of strong intuition, the intellect, imaginative mind, and spiritual powers. You are a highly energetic, happy, strong, taking action individual as a warrior. So, you are a fighter of the first order. You are the energy of all numbers. You are completed with the full energy. You have all the energy, all the elements. And so, you have inborn intuition and inborn wisdom. And so, you are the old soul. You live by wisdom and everything is a lesson to you. And you learn from your, your mistakes and everything and everyone. And so you basically are honest, trustworthy, and compassionate. And in relationship, you are attracted to people who possess the qualities you value, value most highly, which is gener generosity and kindness. So you're very sensitive energy, even though you're the biggest number and biggest warrior spirit and vibration. But within you is the soft, uh, caring, uh, motherly spirit. So this being said, so this makes you a humanitarian on a large scale, a global scale, because you're the completion of all numbers. So you can do anything you set your mind to as a psych psychiatrist naturally, as a psychic naturally, as a dreamer and visionary naturally, and the one who possess all the energies naturally. And so since you possess all this energy, you're highly sensual, so your sexity stay high. So you have a philosopher nature. You make a good judge, a spiritual leader, a nat you're naturally a healer and a counselor and a therapist and an educator. All of this is part of the number nine vibration as the one who do all of this to help humanity or who to, to serve humanity. You are the biggest humanitarian, bigger than the six because you're a bigger number. And so you do it on a universal scale as number six do it in the community, the environment. You do it on a much global scale. Not only serving the community global, also you're global minded, which means you see everybody points of view. And nobody really wrong to you because everybody has their own points of view. So you like to learn, you like to study. You're the old soul who receive uh, energy, information. And so you are a problem solver naturally. And you have inner wisdom naturally. As an old soul, you're born with this wisdom. You have inner strength naturally, so you're strong, warrior spirit. And so you have intuition, strong intuition naturally, and you're empathic naturally. So you're empathic, and you are a creative artist, a genius naturally. So this is a creative uh, vibration, spiritual number. And so this is with spiritual wisdom. As a spiritual number, you love learning and knowledge is part of you and communicating. You are a great communicator than all numbers because you have the strongest gift and you're more gifted than any other number. And so this makes you a light worker, the one who empathic, a psychic empath who can read and understand people's emotions and their feelings. You can understand the tone of people's voice and how they feel. They cannot deceive you or trick you because you know the energy. You see the energy. You feel the energy. You hear the energy. You have all the psychic gifts if you open up to them. You are non-judgmental. And some psychic gifts is mock, which means your intuition is on fire, is mock. You don't have to open up to it because a lot of times you live by your intuition, your own your own uh, inner feeling anyway, uh, which you know. And you are accurate and correct. So this being said, you are charming, charismatic, and you're well-liked, a well-liked individual. People like you, so you're a people person. You're a great communicator. And so nine is the number of soul, purpose, strength for character. So you are brilliant and you have influence. And you, like I said, you have a humanitarian attitude. You have enhanced psychic ability more than all numbers. You are outgoing, 
a people person. And also you are an introvert. You're both. This is like what you choose. Uh, you can do almost anything. And you, you're very adaptable. So you're the visionary. But you also can be fixed. So it's up to you basically what you do in this life. Because you're the old soul. But, but naturally you're here to be the visionary. The natural teacher. The healer. The counselor. The one who heal people. Naturally. And also heal yourself. Once you open up and become balanced and reach your higher self. And so you are the one who inspire people to be their best version, their best self. You are the happy going, go lucky person. And you have strong willpower. You value love and beauty. You love the ideal love. And you like beautiful things, beautiful people, beautiful places. And you're very sensual to the touch of love. And so you have great powers that are hard to manage because you got a lot of energy. You can be very aggressive. So you possess strong leadership ability. This naturally. You are a diplomat naturally. You're brave, a warrior naturally. You love structure and organizing things. You are a natural problem solver. You're the one who organizes things and have a universal outlook on things, which means you like to see everybody's perspectives on things. So you make a good judge. A good judge and also you are a good judge of character and so you're resourceful you're giving very free hearted and giving but people must not take that lightly because even though you're free hearted you can read people like a book so they cannot deceive you like that are the last number of completion single number of completion and mastery you are the symbol of the universe you contain all numbers of the universe like nine months is born you are that like nine months, life is born, a child is born in a material realm, so is the universe. You are a universal number. And so knowledge and universal love is a part of your vibration. Also magic. You are the performer. You are the performer of energy, the performer of ideas. So you're very creative. You are nasty, a good writer. Nasty, the thinker. Nasty, the meditative. Nasty, the dreamer. And so... We speak of your number as number nine. You're behind all things. You're the energy behind all numbers. You are, you are the energy of profession, uh, creation, and the supernatural. So you could be the one who want to be perfect in everything you do. So watch out for that. So once you learn that everything, everything ain't so perfect, which means that profession will be imperfect also. So it's, it's a balance. Once you learn that, that there's a balance in this world, this, this is how you win. Once you learn that imperfect is also perfect, it doesn't mean you will win. And you learn that everybody make mistakes, you will win. And stop trying to be so perfect. So number nine is the power of creation and action. That's all it is. So you're here to bring heaven to earth, to bring healing to earth, to bring love to earth, to show people compassion, to be an example of that. So you, you talk it like you walk it. You walk it like you talk it, vice versa. So number nine is the energy which all numbers keep balancing order in all realms. And so number nine combines all numbers. All energy. Because you are bold, competitive, naturally. You are the, the most kindest. And then you can be the most dangerous on the, on the downside. It depends on if you're on the downside. Because you, you're a number of the screen. And you are the most intelligent. And the most psychic of all numbers, single numbers, and you are the most charming and, and the one who love to protect those you love. And not only those you love, but like to protect uh, life itself. You know, so morality, your morality is high if you're on the upside, which means you will stand and fight for justice. You're a fighter of the first order. That I mean, you're very determined and ambitious and you will achieve a uh, objective if you have one. If not, you are content where you at. You satisfied where you at. You more satisfied than any other number so you could be an under unachiever because you could live in a nice home and this this is, might be all you want. You know what I mean? Why other people want to be rich? Because you're the number nine vibration. So this definitely would it be. So you and the, the number seven could be spiritual twins because y'all got the same mission, the same goals and things. So just like the seven, you're here to heal, to help, to give, and to share wisdom. And to be a spiritual guide to humanity on a wide scale. You are also naturally. On the downside, 
You could be impulsive. You could be ill temper, hot temper, the most dangerous and vicious person, and you be uh, selfish, uh, careless, all talking, no show. You be heartless, don't have no heart for nobody. You be narrow minded, argumentative. Again, I say. And so we already know you're the poet, the writer, you all of that, all in one, a teacher, a healer, all in one, and a musician, all in one. A lot of musical people are the number nine spirit of energy and vibration. That, so you make a good uh, therapist. You're here to use your universal powers to work in your favor for everything in life. You're here to manipulate the energy and to help others because you have the energy of all numbers so you're here to help people in all ways and all forms because you got many gifts and many talents so through your visualization you will manifest so as long as you use the universal powers for everything you will win because you got it so meditation is the key to your life and you need to uh be alone at times to channel your energy to get your energy right to stay balanced and so as long as you can do this you will win because you're a true leader, a true humanitarian. You're here to, uh, to let go and let live and to forgive, to forgive and to balance out your temper or your anger. Because the main concern of a number nine is their emotions and their temper. They don't want to be snappish because they know uh, they, can, they can be very destructive. So this being said, as I can't let bring it to light, it gets still rather than this. If this is your attitude number or your soul number, or your life power number, the number of the energy of the vibration will always be the same. This is you. The attitude number, this is the way you act and you carry out and the way people see you. And your soul number, this is your true self, how you really act and have impact on your attitude number and your life path. And this, if this is your life path number, this will be the most important uh, vibration with dealing with your life because it's your whole soul, your whole being. And so it's very powerful. And as I can't bring you this light, it's the riddler than this. I'll shake.